my goals is to watch The Greatest Showman every day. <laughs> AKA. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. It's free. Do it. Do it if you're cool. Do it if you're cool. So it is a new year, if you didn't know. Surprise, it's 2018. <laughs> Good day at work though, I definitely wrote 2016. So I went way back in time. At least you knew the year was changing. You just didn't know which direction. Yeah. So today we wanted to share with you guys some of our goals for this year. I don't really like calling them resolutions. What? Because that seems like very stressful to me. I like calling them goals because if you mess up on a goal, that's okay because it's still your goal and you're still working towards it, you know? Um, but if it's like a resolution, that means it has to change like right away. Like I'm going to do this. And then it, I feel like you don't have any grace in it. I resolve to call all resolutions goals. <laughs> so we're going to share with you my three goals, Josh's three goals for 2018. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going first? Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one. Did you just quote Hamilton? Mm -hmm. Aww, I'm so proud of you. My first goal for 2018 is to start a second channel on YouTube. So a while ago, I was asking you guys if you would watch another channel of mine, if I did kind of a comedy character channel. That is happening. I'm hoping to get that up and running the first week of February is when it will officially go out. I'm starting to film maybe today for that, but I'm just getting everything ready, getting the channel set up. So as soon as that goes live, I'll let you guys know, but I'm very, very excited for it. It's going to be a character that is she's a little weird, but... I think it'll be really fun. fun. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very excited for that. My first one, so I'm getting a PhD in finance. I need to narrow down my research interests. So my goal is to spend at least 20 hours. I have classwork and that type of stuff, but 20 hours on top of all my classwork, just trying to figure out my research ideas. Number two for me is to start auditioning more and just stay consistent with that part of my life. So if you guys didn't know, I went to school for acting. That is what I love doing. I love film acting. I love theater as well, but film is like, that's my jam. I love it. That has kind of got put on the back burner for quite a few years because living in California is expensive and focused on paying the bills and having a consistent job that would do that. But we've decided that we're gonna make that a priority since that's really what I wanna do with my career. So I've already started working towards that. The job I have right now is just part-time so that I can actually book stuff and do what I really wanna do. Number two for me is to exercise at least five times a week, whether that's going to the gym or surfing or mountain biking or running or playing tennis, something. I just have to do some exercise. Number three for me is the exact same, is exercise. And I know that's like a cliche for new year, new me, bleh. So end of this last year, we really started focusing on that and making that an everyday thing and trying to eat better and just treat our bodies better. So that's just a bigger continued goal for 2018 is to keep that up and keep motivating each other as well because it's much easier if you have someone else who's like, mm, did you go to the gym today? Come on, stop watching Netflix, go to the gym, you can do it. Number three, I really want to take a sailing course. The school I'm going to has some sailing courses and you can do like a whole introductory class that's like five or ten weeks long, I think, and get like a sailing license and stuff. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I want to do that. Can I have a bonus one? Yeah, if I get a bonus one. Okay. I just want to make sure that we make time to travel still. Hmm. Even if it's just little trips, make time, yeah, to explore and travel mm -hmm. and see new places. My number four is I really want to get a vintage motorcycle and learn how to work on it. But not ride it? But ride it. That's dangerous. But not, I won't ride it on the freeways. It's still dangerous. Around. Okay, but picture this. Vintage motorcycle that I know how to work on with a surfboard on the side. I'm cruising up to the beach. Oh, there's no parking? No problem because there's like this much space and I just whack and then hop out. Go surf. You could do that on a bike. The beach is so far away. Also, a motorcycle's no more dangerous than a bike. Yes, it is because you're on the road with cars. <laughs> what? Anyways, those are some of our goals for this year. I hope that you guys are thinking of goals for this year to inspire you. If you guys have goals that you're excited about, comment down below because we would love to hear those and we will keep you guys updated on how ours are going. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up for goals. 
Woo! You guys are great, and we will see you on Monday. Stay excellent. Bye! Bye!